Good afternoon, welcome to day four of our prayer novena. It's the start of a new week, or at least it's coming to the end of uh, the first day of the week. And we're here for our prayer novena, uh, thinking today about that, probably the most famous psalm of all, Psalm 23. Psalm 23, you'll know the words, a lot of it, I'm sure. You may even sing it along with me, um, although I'm not going to sing. Say this, Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is a wonderful psalm that is uh, famous for so many reasons and you can see why just by reading it through or listening to it why it's such a famous and well-known psalm. And this psalm gets read in all different sorts of circumstances. And I think throughout the year, as I go through different points in life, different parts of this psalm stand out to me for different reasons. The psalm hints at what we want or need out of life, but it's more interested in our need of God. It speaks of God's presence, companionship, of his guidance, And it ends with the invitation to live eternally at home with God. This is the yearning that should inform all of our prayers to God. When we ask God for stuff, we remember that our need of God is the most basic of all human needs. For me at the moment, as I pray this psalm through, as I read this psalm and and, and even use it as worship, the bit that stands out for me the most, the bit I find myself yearning through as I pray for God to support me and help me, is in those words of verse 5. You prepare a table before me. In the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows. As I read those verses, I'm reminded of the, the truth of the banquet table in heaven. A great banquet table to which one day we're all invited. I'm reminded of the hospitality of God to all his people. I guess I'm reminded of that the most at the moment because I'm not able to offer hospitality in the way that I long to and desire to. I remember a couple of years ago when we just moved into the vicarage, we invited everyone round for a cream tea in the garden. Strawberries and cream were flowing. Oh, how we long to do that, Jess and I again, and even Samuel, although he'll probably be eating all the strawberries. In the absence of being able to offer hospitality, I'm reminded that any hospitality I offer first comes from God offering me hospitality. And so for me, that's where Psalm 23 stands out. Today, you might want to just spend some time praying through Psalm 23. Go and open your Bible and read uh, the version that you've got and be praying, God, what is it you're really speaking to me about today through this? What does your heart kind of race at as you read it? And as you come across that, you might want to use that verse or verses to pray for those people that you're praying for this week, those five people. So for me, I'm going to be praying that I might get an opportunity to share hospitality with those five people but that those five people may know the hospitality of God in his kingdom as well. This is so that they they can convert their needs in human life into a hunger for God himself, so that one day they may be able to confess with St Augustine of Hippo, our hearts are restless until they find their rest in you. So let's pray. Come, Holy Spirit, and give me the rest I long for. Fill me and those five people I'm praying for with a yearning for you. Amen. Take time now to pray through those words of Psalm 23 and to pray for those five people that God has placed on your heart. And tomorrow we're going to look at Psalm 57. Take care.